I'm here at the IWI booth with Jerry Michalik, and we're talking about the Tavor. Jerry, I know that you recently put out a video on your YouTube channel, and I'll put yeah. a link in the description below to your channel. Okay. And you were talking about the Tavor. What, what are your thoughts on this rifle? I think my viewers already know where I stand. Well, it was really the first time I had an opportunity to work with a bow pup design. And what I really noticed on close quarters, fast transitions, at the weight being on your shoulder, mm -hmm. it was very easy to start and stop it. It might be a little whippy at distance, but in close quarters, uh, the target transitions are just like with a handgun. Very right. snappy, very precise. Uh, it handled well. The balance was good. I liked the magazine release, uh, the boat release, I should say, and just everything. That, it's built by professionals. Yeah. So it's, it's obvious when you pick it up, it's, it's quality made, just uh, a nice all-around design package. So for what and, to do. and this rifle is new to the U.S. market, but it's yeah. not a new rifle. This rifle's been out there for, gosh, I guess pretty much close to 20 years or something like that. And I noticed you're doing some really quick shooting with the rifle. Yeah. And that's something I haven't been able to do. The, the trigger was, was somewhat heavy for a lot of folks. I know that uh, Timony yeah. has a trigger coming out. Yeah. I did a little trick where I took one of the springs out yeah. and reduced that trigger pull. How are you able to get it to shoot so fast? Well, I'm a revolver shooter by trade, yeah. so a long, heavy trigger is actually what I like. And I like to have that, that play and uh, to interact with the, with the whole system that way, so it, it doesn't really bother me. It has, it has a good spring release on the trigger, so it doesn't hinder how fast you shoot. Right, so, it's unlike other bullpups. If you take uh, an FS2000, for example, or even a Steyr AUG, it pushes the sear. Those, those designs push the yep. sear, and the, the AUG, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Tavor pulls it, and it's all metallic, so it gives you that metallic feel, which I really like. I had no problem with it. It was, it was just shooter friendly. When I picked it up, it was just ready to go. So it's one of those packages when you when you pick it up, you really you really have no complaints other than you don't have but one of them. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. I know. Right. Well, speaking so. of that, they just they're going to tempt us even more. There's a nine millimeter kit they just yep. released here at Shot Show 2014. And here is one of the rifles. The nine mil. Nine millimeter. Yeah. So it's a drop-in kit. You'll be able to take your existing rifle and you'll be able to use these magazines, which I believe are a standard Colt SMG magazine with a different cut in the magazine. Okay. And uh, it fires 9mm. Now, I've shot this before, and it's, it's amazing. And uh, I hopefully I'll get some video with it here soon. What do you think of 9mm kits on, on guns? Well, it, this, uh, is the, this is the whole kit, by the way, guys. Yeah, the barrel and everything, the recoil system, box for the, for the magazine. 9mm is a great, great way to cross-train. You know, a lot of departments have more 9s than they have 223s or 5.56. Uh, some environments, that's what they want to shoot, is 9 only. So, uh, choice of ammunition might be lead-free in certain calibers, and this offers that platform. Yeah. So, if you have ranges that are mandated for lead-free, you can get 9mm ammo probably easier than you can 5.56. Right. So, it's easy to suppress. Uh, yeah. It's affordable to yeah. shoot. Yeah. So, it's got, yeah. a, it's got an option where you have the same platform and you just swap out some internals and you're ready to play. So it's kind of a no-brainer and it's well executed. So I'm looking stuff. forward to shooting mine, that's for good sure. Stuff. Well, Jerry and I will hopefully be doing some more work together in the future. I hope to see Jerry at the uh, NRA show in Indianapolis okay. coming up here soon. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always swing by Jerry's Facebook page yep. or my Facebook page. Do you have a Facebook page? I'm saying Facebook page. Uh, Picturelike.com. Okay, there you go. And then my Facebook page I'll put in a link down below. Thanks a lot, Jerry. You're welcome, Tim. Good. Thank you. Thanks.